On Friday and Saturday nights, Las Vegas really comes alive. The Strip is teaming up with excitement and there's some magic in the air. Yes, and at 11 o'clock, adults, you can catch a little late night magic at Alexis Park Resort Hotel. You can leave the kids at home because the show's dark, bizarre, edgy, sexy, mm. I would add. Producer Douglas Lefty Leftorovich joins us now. Welcome to the show, Lefty. Thanks for having me here. Thanks for getting my last name right. It was very impressive. You're so welcome. It's a magic I, I, trick in itself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, often mistaken. Yes. I mean, around town you're known as Lefty. Uh, you perform all over this town, but this show, uh, Late Night, is kind of your baby. It really is. You know, it's something that uh, we put together to feature magicians who maybe aren't as famous uh, who haven't had success on a TV show like AGT, or maybe they don't mm. have an hour worth of material. Maybe they've spent the last 20 years honing 10 or 15 minutes. So it's a chance to showcase magicians that aren't on the Vegas Strip having their own show. And instead of going to see a magician like a David Copperfield or Chris Angel where you see one magician the whole show, mm -hmm. in our show, it's a variety magic show. So you see someone, if it's not your cup of tea, 10 minutes later there's another act. Yes. That's very cool. And of course, it is late night magic, too. And I it think is. we need to explain to the viewers out there, what is late night magic? How is it different from other shows? It, first of all, it's late night, so it's 11 p.m. Uh, it's the only magic show in Vegas where kids aren't allowed. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot Whoa. of times, a lot of shows in Vegas, they do uh, humor that I call like the Simpsons humor, where it's a joke that the adults get that the kids don't, but mm -hmm. it has to be like a wink, wink. Yeah. As opposed to in our show, we can tell a dirty joke. We can be a bit edgy. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we had a bachelorette party. And I found out after the show, they had been at Thunder from Down Under the night before. Mm. And they still wanted to do something adult the next night. And they were like, what are we going to do before we go to the club? Mm -hmm. They right. came to our show. I called a girl up who was getting married. And they had a blast. Yes. Cool. That's oh very fun. Oh, my gosh. Being at 11, too, I think it, it's kind of a thing. You can go out. You can kind of get your party on. You can go to an event and then hit your show. Mm -hmm. If you're having one of those nights in Vegas where you're like, I want to be out. Yes. It's interesting. When I, the first night I did the show at Alexis Park, where we're at, across from the Virgin Hotel, I came out and I told a couple of jokes, fell flat, bombed. And I drove home and I realized these are people, especially in the summer, they've had two or three drinks during the day at a pool party. Mm -hmm. yeah. They get back, they have a cocktail at dinner, they come to the show, they're having two or three more cocktails. Ooh, yeah, As the host, I have to come out and I have to grab their attention and I have to hold them. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't treat it like it's seven or eight o'clock, it's late night, so. Right, oh, but a great way to that. hold their attention is magic in this show. And you know, I have to be honest, I wanna know what some of this magic is. What kind of magic do we get to see in the show? So everyone has their own specialty. Uh, there's a performer named John Shaw. He also performs at the Zach Baggins Haunted Museum. He has been in our studio in the last week. He is amazing. Yep. Uh, so he is one of the top sideshow performers in the world. All the stuff he does is real. Uh, he takes a drill, sticks it in his nose. Ooh. He does oh, something wow. where he has okay. a metal paint can and he has chains with eye hooks. Oh, and he picks no. the paint can up. No. Uh, we have Bizarro, who's known as the optical illusionist. All the magic he does is very visual and he creates it. Mm -hmm. He's consulted for a ton of magicians in town. He worked on a project for me when I was doing a TV show. He's also worked with David Copperfield behind the scenes. Not bad. Not bad at, Not all. at all. We have Anna Rose, who's known as the mental influencer. She combines mentalism, <laughs> hypnosis, and magic. <laughs> and her act is very interactive. Oh, she calls on people oh, okay, in the see, audience. Like people love uh, and then our closer is a gentleman named Mandre, who's a master of sleight of hand, and his specialty is he produces birds out of thin air. Oh, that's <gasps> awesome. Yes. Lefty, I've seen you on stage, of course, performing at the Tropicana. Yes. You have something on the table today. Um, I love your personality on stage because I appreciate you're that. very likable. I appreciate I'm not that. Not so much in real person. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not why right I'm now. single. And that's why I'm single. So <laughs> thank you, JJ. <laughs> What, what did you bring up? Okay, so I brought this with me. I'm going to show you the first card trick my dad ever showed me. Wow. Oh. Uh, I was six years old, so I was a lot smaller, so the cards, to me, looked a lot bigger. Okay. So well, I've got these cards here. They're pretty big. And yeah. these are like regular playing cards. You can see all the cards are mm. different. For sure. All the cards are different. What I'm going to do is is I'm going to deal the cards face down just like this, JJ. Mm -hmm. And at any point you want, you can say stop. Stop. Perfect, right there. What I want you to do is I want you to pick up that box, look inside, make sure there's nothing in there. Mm. Nada. Nothing. Okay, perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the card you stopped on, I'm going to place it inside 
Is that my turn? Mm -hmm. The box, and we're going to leave that in full view okay. the whole time. All right. Now, as a kid, I know this is going to come as a shock to you, JG, but I was yeah. a very mischievous kid. And one time when my dad was showing me this trick, he said to me, I want you to cut the cards, and then he got a phone call. So when he walked away, I went into my dad's desk, and I took out a pair of scissors, and oh. I actually cut the cards. Oh. oh, no. Okay. So I have two different halves. Here I have a half. You can see all the cards are different. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. To make it as fair as possible, Ricky, I want you to just take your finger and place it on top of one card mm. and leave it there. Leave it right here. Perfect. I'm going to move it to the top. That's pretty fair, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I want you to take the card. Don't show JJ. Don't mm -hmm. show the camera. Look at it. Hold it up against your chest. Okay. Okay. And then, JJ, you can see mm -hmm. all these cards are mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. All these cards are different. Same thing. Place your finger on any card. Oh, on that one right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move it to the top. Mm -hmm. Take a look at it. I won't look. Don't show Ricky. Look at it. Look Hold it up away. against your chest. Okay. For the first time, Ricky, hand me your card. Very nice. JJ, hand me your card. I love this. <laughs> and look magically. No. The backs match. <laughs> How incredible is that? Ricky, you can come to my show anytime you've got a great laugh. Actually, the card you selected is half the Jack of Spades, half the Two of Diamonds. Yeah. But remember, at the start of the trick, you selected one card from the other deck. I want you to take the card out of that box okay. and show the camera. Oh my gosh. Wow. Do we have a match? No Do we have a match? Do we have a match? No. Uh, how is that possible? Guys, it's I magic at the shocked. Modern Showroom inside Alexis Park wow. Resort and Hotel. Friday and Saturday nights, late night magic, late 11 p.m. for tickets. Call the website or the number on your screen.